Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Phil and Will's Songs and Stories. Hi, I'm Phil, the storyteller. And I'm Will, music teacher. Well, uh, the story to... Will. Yes. When you do writing... Yes. Loads of people make spelling mistakes because you can make spelling mistakes in writing. Mm -hmm. But you can't make spelling mistakes in storytelling. Or can you? What if I told them a story full of spelling mistakes? You can't do that, can you? Well, we'll see. Uh, but can you make spelling mistakes in music? Well, not exactly. But in the same way that we expect words to be spelled correctly, music has its own way of sounding correct and sounding right. So one thing will follow another. They'll be a steady beat that we can start to hear and recognize and feel and enjoy so I suppose instead of spelling mistakes we would just have music where one sound really didn't seem to follow the next so it would be lots of different sounds that there isn't really a sequence to or any there are no patterns there yeah. so that would be what I think would be a musical spelling mistake well I can't wait Shall we begin? Go on. My dear friends, <clears throat> once upon a tim, there was a little grill, not a bay, but a little grill, and her name was Little Dead Hiding Blood. She was a very good little grill. She lived in a kitty <coughs> with a mimi on the edge of a dip dock weed. It's nice to live in a kittage. It's nice to live with your mimi. And they were both hippie. It's nice to have a hippie mimi. Anyway, one day the little grill was scopping. She was scopping towards the kittage. She opened it in the door. She walked in and there was her mimi. And her mimi had a casket. And her mimi was putting fod in the casket. And the grill said, Mimi! What are you doing putting fod in a casket? And the Mimi said, Oh, head hiding blood, you know you're grumpy <laughs> in the middle of the weed. Your grumpy is very stick. I want you to bring some fod and some medicine to your grumpy. Okay, Mum, what kind of fod are you putting in? Well, I put in an egg, I put in a nosage, I put in a steak and kidney poo. And I've put in a kick. Do you want a kick, little grill? Oh, yeah, Mimi. Give me a kick, Mimi. What kind of kick do you want, little grill? Big kick or a little kick? Give me a big kick, Mimi. So Mimi gave her a big kick with a cherry on the top and sugar all the way around. Well, <clears throat> the grill said, bye, Mimi. Bye, head hiding blood. She opened it to the door. She walked out. She walked to the dip dock weed. The dip dock weed is full of trays. Oak trays. Alder trays. Christmas trays. And she kept on the pat. She followed the pat all the way round. But then she heard the sound of nothing. The sound of nothing, said the little grill. She scoped around the corner and then she saw a min. I'm a min. Will's a min. And the min had an X. And the min was nothing down the tray. Timber! And the grill said, why are you nutting the tray? And the man said, because I'm a wood nutter. That's why. Now listen, little grill, in the dip dot weed. Is a big bod wilf. And the wilf, he likes to eat the little grills, clothes, hair, everything, all. You be careful, little grill, and stay on the pat. I will, Woodnutter. Goodbye, Woodnutter. Goodbye, head hiding blood. And the grill scopped along the pat. Well, she came to a place where the trays came towards the pat. She looked into the leathery blackness and she knew something was watching her. She looked, she could feel it, and she saw two big yellow eggs looking at her. 
And then the big bod wolf stopped out of the blackness. The wolf said, Ah, a little girl, lost and alone in dip dark weed. What you doing in weed, little girl? And the grill said, um, Hello, wolf, I'm bringing some fod to my grumpy's house because she's very stick. Ah, you very good little grill. Me not eat you to die. You go grumpy house. Goodbye, little grill. Goodbye, wolf. Now, the wolf knew a short cat. And he ran down the short cat. He got to Grumpy's house. He knocked her on the door. Grumpy jumped out of bond, opened the door, see the wolf. Ah! The wolf grabbed Grumpy and swallowed her. And swallowed her all the way down to his billy. Well, then he opened up the cupboard and he took out the nick of the drawers. He put on the nick of the drawers. He pulled up the blanket. He jumped into bod. He pulled the blanket up to his nose. And then the grill. She opened it to the door. She walked in. She said, Grumpy, what big eggs you've got. All the better to see you with my dear, said the wolf. Grumpy. What a big naz you've got. All the better to smell you with, my dear, said the wolf. Grumpy, what big tough you've got. All the better to eat you with, said the wolf. And he jumped out of bod. He grabbed the little grill. He opened his mouth. <gasps> and all of a sudden, the deer flung it open. And there stood the wood nutter. And with his icks. He chipped the wilfin in alpha, and out of the wilf's belly rolled the grumpy. So the grumpy held Head Hiding Blood's hand. Head Hiding Blood held the wood nutter's hand. They danced around the body of the wilf, and after that, they had a nice cup of tea and a beautiful slice of steak and kidney. Pooh! Mmm! Mm, 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 mm. And that is the end of the story. Thank you, Will. <laughs> right. Well, there you have it. Spelling mistakes and unmelodious music. Well, until next time. Bye from Phil the Storyteller. Goodbye from Will, the music teacher. Bye. Bye-bye.